Hey guys, welcome back to Spider Guy and the brand new The Flash movie was actually previewed at CinemaCon and reportedly some people have now gone to social media to explain exactly what they got to see from that film and that test screening. So just keep in mind, even if these leaks are actually true, that it might not be the final version of the film because the film is still a little bit ways away. So they could change some scenes, remove some stuff, add some stuff. Just keep that in mind, okay? And also, this is your only spoiler warning. So if you don't want spoilers for the new The Flash film, tune out right now. But with that said, let's just hop into what these people claim. So, apparently the film starts with the Flash's secret origin in the DCEU, soon after a team up with Batman and Wonder Woman. It's revealed that Barry got his powers in 2013, the same year that Man of Steel was released and took place, and secretly took part in the background. Donning a crude costume, he actually went to Metropolis to help protect the city from Zod's invasion and save civilians. Barry contemplates that time even harder after his dad, played by Ron Livingston, fails to see an acquittal of the murder charges that keep him behind bars. This is the point where Barry decides to go back in time to save his mom. So he talks to Bruce, Ben Affleck's Batman, who tells him that he could destroy everything, but he goes back in time anyway. All it takes to save his mother is actually just hiding a can of tomato soup, which then sends her to the store and keeps her out of the house at the time of the fatal incident. And also there's no mention of the reverse flash or who's responsible. With that said, Barry tries to make it back to the present to see the fruits of his labor, but he's attacked by Dark Flash and left stranded in 2013 with his younger, depowered self. Barry then gives his variant his abilities, although it costs him his own powers. And that's not all that winds up broken. Reality doesn't wind up much better when Zod then invades with no Superman to try and stop him. The only recourse the two berries have is heading to Gotham City to seek Bruce's help. But at that juncture, they find Michael Keaton's Batman has replaced Ben Affleck's. And timelines and realities within the multiverse have folded in on themselves, similar to the Flashpoint storyline. Of course, this entire movie is just a bastardization of the Flashpoint storyline and twisting and changing everything from it, of course, if you were unaware. So continuing on, at first, Keaton's Bruce has no interest in helping them, but he soon comes around when he realizes it's their actions that created the new entangled timeline. The only chance they have is to locate Cal L, and their search sends them to a Russian prison. Obviously, they don't find him there and instead discover this race swapped Kara Zor L, Supergirl. So she dispatches the guards after powering up, saving her new allies, one of whom develops a crush on her that becomes important later. Meanwhile, the Zod situation gets worse as he starts terraforming the planet again. Modern Barry needs his powers back to be able to fight, though, so Kara flies him into a lightning storm and successfully recreates the conditions of his origin. So that is interesting that Supergirl is going to help Barry get his powers back, basically. And with his powers now restored, they all engage Zod with a disastrous outcome. And major spoiler, heads up, major spoiler, this fight with Zod will cost them the lives of Bruce and Supergirl. Present day Barry then determines they've entered a fixed point in the timeline, but his younger self refuses to give up. He goes back in time to attempt to save Supergirl, whom he has a crush on of course, and everyone else, but he keeps on trying several times before he disappears. Dark Flash then emerges from the Speed Force and reveals that he is the 2013 Barry Allen. He'd spent years, it turns out, trying to fix the timeline to no avail, eventually growing to loathe his future self for screwing everything up. The latter thus time travels one more time to undo saving his mom, which takes him through the speed force for cameos. 
Some of these guest appearance cameos are by Nicolas Cage, Helen Slater, Christopher Reeve, George Clooney, and Adam West. But all of these are with caveats. The leaker urges readers to temper expectations and explains that the sequence is simply very VFX heavy, and you might only see the shape of some of the characters. However, we might be treated to the sight of Henry Cavill through recycled footage. But even that might be cut, just keep in mind. So then making it to the now altered point in time, Barry puts the soup can where it belongs to ensure that his mom is killed, as normal. And then the timeline goes back to normal as well. He also ensures his dad goes free and runs into Bruce Wayne. Except it's not Affleck or Keaton, though it was going to be, and only his feet are shown. And they finish off by saying that Warner Bros. may actually place a cameo here, possibly George Clooney, but they can't say for certain. Originally, Michael Keaton and Supergirl would meet Barry at the end to set up the DC film's rebooted DCEU, but that's no longer happening. Neither is a supposed Crisis on Infinite Earth set up that would make use of the Snyderverse, which is instead purged completely and goes unmentioned. And that seems to be the end. So guys, that was the Flash film leaked by viewers of CinemaCon, reportedly at least. Personally, I think a direct comic accurate adaptation of Flashpoint would be better, but this doesn't seem all that bad and might make for a decent movie, but who knows if it's better than just alright, you know? We'll have to wait and see, but let me know your guys' thoughts on all this in the comments down below. What do you think of this? Are you excited for the Flash film? Let me know your thoughts, be sure to smash that like button, and subscribe for more entertainment news, updates, and leaks coming in the near future. Thank you all for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.